Hello and welcome to another ARC review. If you have been here a while on our channel, you know that we really love to do ARC reviews and we intend to do as many ARC reviews as possible. I think Amanda even has this as a bigger goal than I do, but I also really love ARCs. I love reading things and being able to read them before they come out and then share those with other people. I think, especially with authors that I love, I love getting those as soon as I can. And now we're able to share them with you guys on this channel. The one that I got that I was really happy about, it's called The Vacancy in Room 10. And this one's by Serafina Nova Glass. She wrote On a Quiet Street. I also read that one and love that one. It reads like a psychological thriller, but I would say borders on literary thriller because there's very strong characters written in these books, both of her books. And this one, she continues to do that where it is very strong characters that you're reading about, very drawn out characters. So with this one, you have two viewpoints throughout the whole book, one by Anna and one by Cass. Anna had a call recently from her husband and he was crying and upset. And he said he he's done something unforgivable and he seems to allude that he's killed somebody. She's very confused. It's out of his character, even though he's really been off in terms of his behavior for like a month or two. Next thing she knows, he his body turns up at the bank of the Rio Grande. She's heartbroken and she tries to find out what happened to him. He had been renting a room out of a motel that he went there to do artwork. It was like his studio that he rented. She decides to go to the hotel, rent the same room that he had, and try and figure out what his last moments were, what may have happened with him. At first, she's told that it's suicide, but she starts to suspect maybe something else had happened. It's very twisty. You end up getting a lot of information throughout this book. And I don't feel I knew how it would end. I definitely did not guess correctly on this, so I think it does a really good job of keeping you guessing. The best part I feel about this book are the characters at this motel. So when she is staying at this motel, she's meeting everyone who pretty much lives there. So I don't know, that's the part I wasn't completely sure on because it sounded like it was a renovated motel and it was like a community of people that lived there. So the other woman that you're reading from is Cash. She, she's the motel manager and you get some backstory on her and I don't wanna ruin it for the reader for this because a lot of the things I discovered with Cass I feel is better if you're reading and discovering for yourself. But she is definitely one of my favorite characters I've read about because she's just different and she just does what she wants and thinks. It's like almost like a Frieda McFadden female character is how I was reading her. So the the dynamics between the two of them just made for a very enjoyable book. Anyone who loves psychological thrillers would definitely love this. And if you also love literary thrillers, I think you will also love this because I feel like it's somewhere in that realm. Obviously, I don't want to ruin the end, but I felt like the ending for me always ends up determining how much I really love a book because there have been some books that the ending completely ruins it for me or it's too rushed or it drags on and on. And I felt this was, this ending was, I want to say perfect, but I didn't have any qualms with the ending. I feel it gave you all of the answers that you wanted and also let you know what happens with everyone at the end. I'm trying not to say certain words because I don't want to obviously spoil the book. So this book is scheduled to come out April 9th. I would highly suggest putting it on your TBR for April. I think this is going to be 
a very popular one, especially on all the psychological thriller groups that I frequent. So thank you for watching and until next time.